The party was founded on 8 July 1943 by Alexander Bustamante as the political wing of the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union. Bustamante had previously been a member of the PNP. It won the 1944 general elections with 22 of the 32 seats. It went on to win the 1949 elections with a reduced majority. The PNP received more votes 203,048, than the JLP, 199,538, but the JLP secured more seats, 17 to the PNP's 13. Two seats were won by independents. The voter turnout was 65.2%. The JLP lost power to the PNP in the 1955 elections. The PNP won for the first time, securing 18 out of 32 seats. The JLP ended up with 14 seats, and there were no independents. The voter turnout was 65.1%. As a result, Norman Manley became the new chief minister. The JLP remained in opposition following the 1959 elections, when the number of seats was increased to 45. The PNP secured a wider margin of victory, taking 29 seats to the JLP 16. Manley was appointed Jamaica's first premier on 14 August 1959. The JLP was victorious in 1962 and was therefore the government when Jamaica gained its political independence from Great Britain on 6 August 1962. Bustamante suffered a stroke in 1964 and largely withdrew from politics. However, he did not relinquish the title of party leader for another decade. Donald Sangster took over as acting prime minister after Bustamante's stroke. He was named first deputy leader in 1967, and led the party to victory as of the 21 February 1967 elections. Sangster suffered a brain hemorrhage and died about six weeks after the elections, while he was preparing for his budget presentation. Hugh Shearer succeeded Sangster as first deputy leader and prime minister, defeating David Clement D.C. Taveras by two votes in a runoff by of the JLP parliamentarians. Taveras had come out on top in the first ballot, with Shearer and Robert Lightbourne being the other candidates. Under Shearer, the JLP lost power for the first time to the People's National Party and Michael Manley in 1972. Shearer served as opposition leader until 1974. Bustamante finally gave up the post of party leader in 1974, and Edward Sega was elected his successor. The party lost the 1976 elections, but Sega became prime minister after victory in 1980 when the party won by a landslide, capturing 51 of the then 60 parliamentary seats. In 1983 with the JLP achieving a spike in popularity, in part because of Sega's support of the U.S.-led military invasion of Grenada, Sega called early elections and won all 60 seats, the majority by acclamation, mainly because the opposition PNP boycotted those elections. The JLP suffered defeat in the 1989 elections and went on to lose elections in 1993, 1997 and 2002, all under the continued leadership of Sega. In 2005 Bruce Golding succeeded Sega as leader of the party, and led it to victory in the 2007 elections. Golding resigned as head of the party and prime minister in October 2011 and was succeeded by Andrew Hallness. Soon after becoming leader, Hallness called an election over a year before it was constitutionally due, and the party lost by a 2-to-1 margin to the PNP. Hallness was not blamed for the defeat, and continued to lead the party as opposition leader The party held a leadership election on 10 November 2013 where Hallness was challenged by his deputy, Shadow Minister for Finance Audley Shaw. Hallness defeated Shaw by a margin of 2,704 votes to Shaw's 2012. Hallness went on to lead the JLP to a one-seat parliamentary majority, 32-31, in the 2016 general election, reducing the PNP to the opposition benches after one term. In the 2020 general election, Andrew Hallness made history for the JLP by accomplishing a second consecutive win for the Jamaica Labour Party. The last time a consecutive win occurred for the JLP was in 1980. This is what Jamaicans classified as a landslide victory. The JLP is a conservative party. It believes in a market-driven economy and individual personal responsibility. In May 2008, in an interview with Stephen Sacker of the BBC, Bruce Golding PM and party leader declared that any cabinet formed by him would exclude any MP known to be gay. 
In previous statements, Golding stated that he and his party strongly opposed public displays of homosexuality in Jamaica and that he felt that they should continue to be illegal in keeping with Jamaican societal norms. He justified the illegality of homosexual acts by referring to Christian values and the integrity of the family. Sir Alexander Bustamante (1943–1974), Sir Donald Sangster (acting), 1965–1967, one Hugh Shearer (acting), 1967–1974, one Edward Sega (1974–2005), Bruce Golding (2005–2011), Andrew Holness (2011 present), one. Carrot Donald Sangster and Hugh Shearer were not actually leaders of the JLP but were de facto leaders during Bustamante's illness withdrawal from active political life. 